Surrounding me now is some of the least rugged and minimally dangerous terrain I've ever been paid a small fortune to set foot in. For an experienced outdoorsman such as myself, a competition this small in scale could quite literally be considered a mere walk in the park. Welcome to one of Jeffrey Epstein's abandoned sex islands, the setting for this year's Eco Challenge Adventure Race. I'm Bear Growls, survivalist to the stars. Mel B once had a piss on my hand. Also surrounding me now are some of the most useless athletes ever assembled for such an event. Good section! Woo! They will start the race as a team, and they must finish the race as a team. The minutes and hours and days ahead will test these bozos like nothing they've ever experienced. There will be hidden dangers lurking behind every corner. And there will be dire consequences for those men and women who entered this race equipped only with a rubbish set of survival instincts and ridiculously poor impulse control. Through the magic of reality television, we might even get to see a few souls get crushed along the way. You go, girl! Mother Nature is about to tax their weaker than average bodies and likely melt their already alarmingly minuscule minds. Crossing the finish line in anything other than a body bag will be a monumental task for this assortment of simple-minded fools. The densest thing any of these competitors will need to face in the coming days is themselves and one another. And that's why they call this the world's toughest race to watch. So I've just received confirmation that one of our teams has already radioed race organizers for help. And according to the GPS tracking systems that each of our teams has been equipped with, the coordinates show that they're just up here a bit. It would appear that Team Comfy Pants is having some problems getting their bearings straight. The Eco Challenge is barely underway, and already it's gut check time for some. You guys are absolutely crushing it! Steph, oh. You're killing it! You're smashing it! Who are you? What's wrong with your voice, dude? There's nothing wrong with my voice, dude. It's called a British accent. Oh my god, are you serious? Guys, somehow we ended up in England. Derek, you idiot. You're not in England, mate. We're all in America. I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure I'm right. All right. Anyway, how are you guys making out? Yeah, so I can't really seem to make heads or tails of this thing. Is that a set of Ikea instructions you're looking at? So, do you think that's why I'm having so much trouble? Okay, did they not give you a proper course map at the start of the race? Yeah, they did. And where is it now? I told them I didn't need it. And why, pray tell, would you do that? Because I already had this. You've got to be shitting me. I'm scared. Team Mayfly, this is Bear Growl. What seems to be the problem? Over. I'm sorry, who did you say I'm speaking with? Over. Oh, bloody hell. It's Bear <laughs> Growls. Have none of you wankers ever heard of me? I think I have to poop. Anyway, what is happening, Team Mayfly? Over. Yeah, not much, Bear. What's happening with you? Over. What's happening with me? Are you serious? You're the one that radioed for help, you idiot. Over. What is the medical emergency team by fly? Over. I'm pretty sure I have lost feelings because now I can't get him to stop crying. Over. Oh, you're right, this is over. Hey, ask him if he's tried tickling him. Guys, my Charmander's evolving.
as I stormed off in search of the production vehicle that would hopefully get me as far away from this reality TV train wreck as possible, I couldn't help but consider a small number of things. First off, how had my stock plummeted so heavily in the last little while that attaching myself to a show as terrible as this one was the only actual job offer I had in months? Secondly, I wondered if any of the members of Team Comfy Pants were currently back at the creek trying to give the walkie-talkie I'd chucked downstream mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. As well, why did I have that eerie feeling that I was always being watched? Like the tiny insect they were named after, would Team Mayfly manage to survive past the first 24 hours? Who knows? Or gives a toss, really. And lastly, and probably most importantly, why did it smell like pig shit? And where in the f*** was I?